righty, it is 5.30. I will call the uh, public works meeting to order. Uh, I'll start with roll call. Alder Bellinger. Here. Alder Peterson. Here. Alder Rust. Present. Alder Ramey. Here. All five of us are here. We will start out with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Alrighty, I think everyone knows everyone here, unless there's anybody that has any objections. We will skip number four. Uh, we'll go on to number five, approval of minutes from August 13th, 2024. I move to approve. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. Any discussion on those minutes? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Chair votes aye. Those are approved. Item number six, resolution number 61 2425, mm -hmm. a resolution authorizing the appropriate city officials to enter into a contract for the demolition of the former Sheboygan County Highway Department structure and related site improvements so as to prepare the site for construction of a new fire department headquarters facility. Uh, who's taking this? <laughs> okay, Bernie. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Chairman and members of the committee. Uh, as you know, the city purchased the uh, former highway department site on North 23rd Street uh, with the intent of eventually building a new uh, headquarters fire station three structure, as well as a, uh, a public safety training facility on that site. Um, <clears throat> what we knew is the building that's there now has to go uh, so we began working quite diligently on getting the building prepared for demolition. Uh, and that includes, a, in that case, a number of number of uh, tasks that had to be done. Um, we quoted out and the removal of asbestos and lead-based paint materials from the site. Um, that work is largely done already. Um, the next logical step was to put out a request for bids for demolition of the structure, um, as well as some structures in the backyard, mainly concrete foundations that were there from the removal of other buildings. Um, we did put that out for bids and we had a quite a quite a good turnout of, of bidders for that project and the low bid came in quite favorably in for the city um, when compared with the other bids a company called gulig waste removal and demolition they're out of eden wisconsin uh, after the bids were shared with the uh, with the vendors i made contact with mr gulig um, I've worked with him before on some demolition projects around the city in the past. Uh, excellent contractor. Just wanted to kind of feel him out now that he had seen how his competitors came in. And um, largely, he was extremely positive. He felt after looking at his competitors' bids, he wished he would have maybe upped it a little bit. Uh, however, <laughs> he indicated that, and that's buyer's remorse. Uh, he indicated that um, there's a lot of steel in the building and demolition contractors look at the amount of steel and recyclables in a building. Uh, he also indicated that um, he feels very strongly that he has a buyer already for the overhead cranes that are in the in the shop area of the building, and largely that building is it's a it's a big open space. Uh, the front end where the offices are, they're kind of walled off and cut up, but for the most part, it's it's a big shell. Um, so he felt had no no issues whatsoever with his bid, and. Um, Felt that made me feel very comfortable that he'll walk the talk and get it done. So in, with that, uh, we are requesting that uh, council 
the committee tonight and council ultimately approve the uh, contract with Gulig Demolition and Waste in the amount of 141622 and move forward. Okay, thank you, Bernie. Yeah, I, I will say this. I, when I saw this, I was kind of surprised myself, to be honest with you, when I saw I, I've seen other demolition contracts. But, uh, this is a very, fair, very favorable one, for, I believe, uh, for, for this amount. Like I said, maybe it is because of the fact that there are the equipment that is in there that will hopefully you know, help him with his. But uh, yes, um, I just have one question as far as like now, as far as this, is there any, do you know of any site? problems that we have as far as like contamination and things like there, that. There, there is a, uh, a small area of the site. Uh, it's away from where the building sits now. There's a, a building behind the building, which is about a 12,000 square foot structure, a very well built 12,000 square foot structure that will most likely stay. Um, we did include an alternate for removal of that building as well. Uh, we are waiting on the architect engineer uh, to give us an analysis and an opinion on that building. Um, outside of that building, in an area where we're not going to be putting any building, it'll most likely be a paved area. Uh, there was some previous uh, petroleum contamination from many years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, many yeah. years ago, the county removed the underground tanks that they had on the site uh, using PECFA funds and went to above ground tanks. Those tanks, believe it or not, were, were one thing I had to deal with um, to get them out of there. Uh, we took care of that, no issues. So other than that, um, we're not aware of any in-ground contamination. Um, we feel We'll know more once we get the building down because then we will bring in a civil engineer to do some borings to take a look at the soils that are under there. There was some issues when the city built the police department to the north uh, because to the north of that on what's now the Lawrath property um, was at one time a landfill and it, we did run into some of those issues when we built the police department. Um, we were able to overcome them. Uh, we don't believe that the landfill stretched that far south. Uh, so uh, the soil borings, of course, will tell us more. But at, at this point in time, uh, any contamination that's known uh, is in an area that will most likely just have asphalt parking lot over it. And if you look on the screens, so the building that Bernie was referencing is the little one on the far south side, so a little bit lower right there in that one. That's the one we have to see if the engineers still uh, want us to keep. And then where the PD, that entrance in between the two buildings by the PD and the, the county building, that whole area will be parking lot in, in the tentative drawings. Uh, so that's where Bernie's referencing that the soil sample. But so we, it, we, it we be able to just point. cap it and yeah, and exactly. The, this new the new design won't have a basement in it, so they're feeling that that will also save. I mean, I'm not an architect or an engineer, but they're thinking that will save some. So, uh, and our building is tentatively where that parking lot in the front goes towards the street in the very front, the uh, other one keep going south right there, that parking lot. That's actually where the front of the building will be. So we're moving the building up a little more to allow more room in the back for training purposes, yeah. Questions, John? Bernie, what is the difference between Kulig's bid and the second lowest? Uh, the second lowest bid was 385,000. Wow. The highest bid was just under a million. It's a very well built, heavy, heavy building. Uh, mainly concrete, a lot of steel. Uh, 
the floors in the in the in the shop area of the building are probably in the 16 to 18 inch thick concrete so it's it's a substantial building it was very well built and the county built a lot of buildings in those years and they built those buildings uh dealt with several of them over my career with the county so but they um, had to withstand heavy machinery being parked in there yeah. long term mm -hmm. right yeah i mean yeah. You, uh d12 bulldozers earth movers yeah well, crushing so plants they were all in there that's where they serviced all of their large equipment and large trucks so yeah it had to had to be built to, to withstand that and, and it was. Yeah, it, did a, it, was. it did a good job. <laughs> it really did. So the cool. second lowest bid is double. Yep. Wow. Okay. Do we but, do we have to take it down? I mean, it's built so nice because there are any ways. That yeah, we looked it? at. Uh, we tried to look at yeah. the feasibility of using that and repurposing it. It you almost put half over half of the cost to remodel the interior and and it just wasn't worth it. So. Yeah. Um, and then it would not allow for the use of that property in the back as as well as it is now with the training facility, the shooting range, uh, public works, uh, confined space and trench. So by doing it, we are we are gaining. Okay. I just have a quick question. So you talked about the southern building, the extra building that that's going to stay. Is possibly, the one to the possibly. possibly? What's the one to the north? It's gone already. Oh, it's it is. Okay. Aurora, Aurora. After the county sold that the complex to Aurora, Aurora sold that building to a third party, and they removed the building. They left the foundation, oh, interesting. but they okay. removed the building. Uh, it's one other comment, I guess. If if we do um, not not need this other building. Would we, would we also look into the same thing, possibly selling this building as a, is it, or is it not as like similar to the one that would? I, I would absolutely say yes, we would, but it all depends on what the engine, I, I'm not a structure. Sure. When we took the first architects through there, they felt that it wasn't feasible to keep it or viable uh -huh. uh, because you would sink more money into getting it up to today's codes because you would have to. Um, and you're, that they felt that'd be a waste of money versus tearing it mm -hmm. down and and not having it there but we are trying to look to see if it, it is viable to it's keep a, it so it's a well-built structure it it has corrugated steel roofing and corrugated steel siding very heavy corrugated steel um, which can be covered very easily with other materials to to dress it up but it's it, it's a solid solid building much much more solid than even a engineered steel, like a pole barn type thing. Yeah. So yeah. we're just waiting. We just don't it. know the condition and what's up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. One other question is: There's another one, the one behind the police department. What is that one? That, that's the evidence. That's gone. That that's was gone. a. It's gone. It's yeah. gone. It is gone. That used yeah. to be the old soldier. That's now the uh, police impound lot. Yeah, and a parking lot for the police station. Okay. That was a salt shed when the county highway owned it. Okay. And during the sale of the property by the county to Aurora, um, it was became known that they would have that. So what they basically did as part of that whole transaction is just kind of squared off. You see that driveway coming sure. in from 23rd. Yeah and that got conveyed to the city at the time and it worked it out financially so it was a win-win for everyone and then the city had that salt shed removed in a parking dpw constructed a parking lot okay and, and an impound lot which was needed because that freed up space down here and it Put the impound vehicles closer to the PD, which is where they need to be. Good. All right. Any other discussions? Discussion. Uh, we look for a motion then. Move to approve. Second. Motion is made and seconded. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Chair votes aye. That is approved. Thank you for the support.
So this meeting date is September 10th, 2024. We've exhausted the agenda. We'll give her a motion to adjourn. I move to adjourn. Second. Never mind. I'll second that. You can second it. That'd be better. That'd be much better. All those in favor. Okay, we are adjourned. Thank you very much.